2019 in uh, Chevy Silverado wheel brakes replacement. Those are the tools that you need. You need a 90 degree pick, a 13, 40 millimeter screwdriver, pliers, um, an 18 millimeter socket. Let's start by removing the caliper. The bridge did the cap. It's out. First and foremost, you need a skin tool to do this job because it has the electronic parking brake system. Alright? If you don't have the skin tool, do not attempt to do this job. Take it to the dealership. So we'll be removing the brake sensor. You only have one on the driver's side. The passenger side doesn't have one. Just the driver wheel side, okay? And you need to unplug the connector here. I unplugged the, um, the well sensor. So I'm going to unplug it. To do it, you need to pick like this and push that white tab out and you squeeze it so you can... There you go, and it's out. And I'm gonna remove the sensor. You just wiggle it out, it will come out. This is the wheel sensor. It's already out. It was broken actually. Now let's compress the caliper with the screwdriver. Like this. Oops. Good. Now I'm about to remove the, um, the container that holds the, the brake holder in place with the tip ready. I have a screwdriver in between you to jam it and I'm gonna remove it that way. As you guys can see, it is loose now. Now let's remove the 240 mil that holds the caliper in place. I'll be using my mirror to watch it to do that. If you try to do anything funny with this, if you don't have the special tool, you're gonna have to get the tool to the dealer to fix it. I've ripped. I fixed a bunch of them like this, just for that reason. All right, you need the skin tool to put it in, in service mode. Now I compress the piston all the way. Now let's remove the two 18 millimeter that hold the caliper bracket in place. So I got the caliper um, bracket out, remove the water. I'm going to remove the and take this thing out and put a new one in and clean underneath them put the brush yep that's what we have so i'll clean it up um i'm gonna take this out so i can put a little grease some grease in there make sure it moves freely make sure guys when you put it those hardware in this little thing here face out all right that's pretty much push the brake pad away from the water every time you get off from um, the bricks. Alright. Now let's clean um the hub with this. So I did the best I could. It's pretty much clean right now. It was way worse. I'm about to clean now uh, the brick water from uh, the rose protection film. So here are the brake pads. The hole, the one with the hole in it, needs to go in the back side of the caliper. Alright. That for the, um, the wear weight sensor. The wear sensor. This is what it looks like. That's where the wear sensor goes. And the full whip I go on the front. Alright. Now let's put the weight caliper in. So now, here with the wear sensor. I'm about to clip it in and it goes in one way there you go because you only want to have one on the driver's side you put it in like that I have it in and don't forget to put that cap on here there you go and you connect it to, the, to this thing here there it is And, and push the white tab in. Done. There you go. All done, guys. Now we need to reset it on the on the on the car and take the car off of service brake mode with the special tool, and you'll be done with the job. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel, and share the video, too, guys. Thank you.